Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm actually doing a tag video. And I was tagged by Autumn Beckman, and this tag was created by Kat L, and I will list their channels or videos down below. And I am always late to the game with the tag videos because I always have so many videos that I want to do, but I thought this one sounded like a really fun one, and I'm not actually going to tag anybody, but if you haven't done this tag, I welcome you to do it. So the name of the tag is 10 Things That Make Me Happy Right Now. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick disclaimer. Uh, other than my family, my husband, my children, my grandchildren, my mom, <laughs> and very special friends in my life. That's the number one thing that makes me happy. You know, uh, all the blessings that God has bestowed upon my life. I'm very thankful and happy for all that I have. But I'm taking this tag in a fun direction. Just frivolous, fun things that make me really happy. So the number one thing is handbags. It's what started my channel. Actually, it was Keith's idea to start this channel. We kind of started it out together for the first full year. He did all my editing. He made me some awesome thumbnails. I'm terrible at it. And, you know, he, he, he does that uh, video. He does videography um, as a hobby. So we did start out together and then he bailed on me after a year. So, <laughs> but it, it all started out you know, me talking about my handbags, and I'm still talking about my handbags over two years later, but handbags make me so happy, and I, and for me, clutches, that's a handbag. I mean, any kind of a bag. I just, I'm a bag lady. I'm a crazy bag lady. I'm crazy about all kinds of handbags, luxury, contemporary brands, non-luxury. You guys have seen my collection. I have a little bit of all of it. And just basically, I'm a handbag lover. I love handbags, makes me super happy. Okay, the number two thing that makes me really happy is to decorate my home. I'm kind of a minimalist. I don't have a lot of things on the wall. One of my friends came over and she said, you don't have a lot of your art hanging on the wall, and I don't because I like plain walls. I'm just more of a minimalist when it comes to decorating, but I do love to decorate. Like I love to decorate for Christmas. And once I get finished, I might do a home tour. I don't decorate the entire house, but I do a good bit of decorating. I just love to decorate. I love to decorate. De <laughs> I love to decorate for Christmas. I love to decorate for Halloween. And I just love, you know, decorating. I ordered some new comforters and pillows for my upstairs guest rooms. And that makes me happy. I just, you know, I just hung up some new lace curtains. I was like, wow. And, you know, the first couple days I would just go in there and look and think, wow, this is so pretty. And it just makes me so happy because I love making my house a home. I love the fact that my husband loves to come home after work. You know, he, he, he told me that he just loves to come home. This is our happy place, our home, so I take great pride in it. My children love to come here when we have get-togethers and pool parties and, you know, just um, our Christmas party and just making memories here with family, cookouts swimming, all the things that we do. I love to make my house a beautiful home and that just is very important to me. And yeah, that makes me really happy. Okay, the number three thing. Okay, number three, art makes me happy. I love art and I've said this before, I love handbags and I know I listed it as number one, but if I had to choose between art and handbags, I would choose art because without it, I would be empty. It fills my soul. When I spend time by myself painting and creating, it's just something that oozes out of me. I love to create. I love to teach art and share my art. When someone buys a piece of my art, I am thrilled that something that I created, um, someone actually wanted it. So I'll show you a couple of paintings. I do all kinds of paintings, but this is a still life. 
it's just a bucket and an orange and just a bottle with a couple of grapes. <laughs> so I have studied classical painting and um, yeah, so this is a still life. This is another one. This is lemons and a, I guess a jar and another big jar and just painting, just be able, just being able to create like this makes me so, 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 so happy. I, I, I love art. Okay. Number four, <laughs> you guys, I have an obsession with booties. I love shoes, but I love booties. And you guys have seen my collection. I have a pretty sizable collection. And actually when I edited that video, I noticed that I forgot to film some of them that are in the other part of my closet. <laughs> I have so many pairs of booties. How many pairs does one person need? I don't know, but they make me happy. Every time I get a new pair of booties, I'm like so giddy. But I do love shoes, but I really love booties. They, oh, I just love booties. Okay. <laughs> Number five, my new office space. When I'm in here, I just, oh, I just can't believe that I have somewhere to just sit. I'm comfortable. I just sit here and talk to you guys like I'm just talking to my best friends. And I don't know, something about this office reminds me of someone. I don't know what it is. Hmm. I don't know. Something reminds me of something. Something in here reminds me of somebody. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I love my new office space, my new desk. I come up here a lot of times in the mornings with my coffee. I write in my agenda. That makes me happy. Just, you know, spending time looking out the window. There's a window right over here. And I can see the road. I can see the trees. And I just love it up here, you guys. I love my new office. I don't know why I've spent so much time filming in my closet all this time. But anyway... One day, a light went off in my head and I thought, why am I not using this space? So I love, love, love my office. Okay, number six that makes me happy that we can't do anymore, but I've done a lot of it in my lifetime, is traveling. I love to travel with Keith and go on adventures with him. I love to travel to Greece. That's where my family is, where my father is from. I love the culture, but not just Greece. I just love to travel. I've, I've been to London. I've been to Machu Picchu. That's one of the coolest places I've ever been. So traveling and going on really cool adventures with my husband is something that makes me really happy because it's memories being made. And, you know, to this day, we are always talking about, hey, remember the time we went here? Remember the time we went there? So, you know, traveling, I don't know. You just keep it, you keep it with you. You know what I mean? You get so much out of it. And, you know, we just have so many awesome memories from traveling. I also feel like traveling, you gain quite a bit of an education. It's very educational to travel. And like, we went to England and I had no idea that chips were called crisps. <laughs> Gwenny, crisps. <laughs> And, you know, I just, I don't know. Oh, and mind the gap. I learned that too. Mind the gap <laughs> when getting on the subway. But you just do gain such an education when you're traveling. You, you just grow as a person. And traveling has always made me so happy. And coming home has made me happy too. After two weeks abroad coming home makes me really happy but i do miss traveling i hope that things get back to normal again sometime and we'll be able to travel again okay number seven you guys you guys make me happy you have no idea how much you guys mean to me and having my own youtube channel the friends that i've met and you know the people who comment on my videos every single week twice a week i always hear from you and it does not go unnoticed i am so happy to hear from you i'm so i don't know it just it really really does something to me because uh doing a youtube channel really is a lot of work because there's times 
that you know things don't go right and things get messed up and you have to re-edit and I don't know just finding the time to film and it's just it is a lot of work but it's very rewarding and you guys make me really happy and all the support that you've given me and my subscribers I have the best subscribers in all of YouTube land I do and I would give anything in this world <laughs> <laughs> if we could go somewhere and all meet each other in person because I, I don't know you know you're real to me you're real to me you're a real person and I'm a real person you guys mean everything to me and you guys make me very happy number eight this is a short one pizza and movie night <laughs> on the weekends, sometimes well we've been doing it more lately but you know usually on the weekends we used to go out and you know it was just what we did you know just get a break but now you know we don't go out so much so uh, we get a pizza um, and we sit on the couch together and have a, a wine and you know just watch a movie and it's just me and Keith having pizza and movie night makes me really happy. It's just really cozy and we both enjoy watching documentaries and different things like that. I'm not really a big movie buff, but every now and then, you know, there's a really good movie that I want to see. But um, really, one of the things I really like to watch is the first 48 hours. <laughs> And Lisa got me started on that. I love that show. Okay, so number nine. Oh my gosh, you guys. This makes me so happy. And I didn't have any yesterday and I didn't have any today. <laughs> Butter pecan ice cream. It's, oh, uh, it's my nemesis. Oh, uh, I love butter pecan ice cream. If, if it weren't for butter pecan ice cream, I would probably be 130 pounds. <laughs> And I'm not kidding. Sometimes I think, I just want ice cream for dinner. And yeah, you guys, I have a really, a real weakness. And, and to make matters worse, sometimes I will get some of that natural peanut butter and I'll warm it in the microwave just a little and just drizzle it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't even start it. Don't try it. I promise. Because then you'll be hooked and it's not it you know it's not good for the old backside or anything else <laughs> so yeah butter pecan ice cream it does make me happy um and number 10 my birthday makes me happy it's another year of life it's a celebration it's all about me <laughs> my sister told me that i was a narcissist she said but you're a good narcissist i'm like how is that possible? She said, I always make everything about me. You guys, that's not true. Uh, but my birthday is all about me. And my husband proclaimed it yo today. And yo today makes me so happy. And he is the best husband in the world. And he, he does. He never lets a yo today go unnoticed. And he always treats me special and takes me somewhere awesome to, for dinner and used to we would go to Atlanta shopping at Phipps Plaza but he's never let me down in 18 years I've been with Keith he is just the best husband and he is the one it's not me you guys he's the one that proclaimed May the 8th National Yo Today so uh May the 8th National Yo Today uh <laughs> my birthday and even though I'm getting older that's okay because it's a real privilege that I've lived this long and and I'm just I don't know life makes me happy so those are the 10 things that make me happy and if you guys haven't done this video I encourage you to do it because it's a happy video it's a fun video and uh, that's all I have to say there's a lot more I could think of but you know the rule is 10 things, and you guys know how I stick to rules, right? <laughs> All right, so I will see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.